What's happening everybody, John Ryan here from IGN, and we're playing some GTA Online. Rockstar just put out the new content pack today in honor of the hallmarkiest of holidays, the Valentine's Day Massacre Special. Uh, the pack contains a host of new jobs like deathmatches, races, parachute jumps, uh, as well as a bunch of new items for you to collect and play with around Los Santos. Uh, while the new clothes are certainly a good novelty addition with the Prohibition style double breasted suits for the gents or the flapper dresses for the ladies or maybe a little something more uh, intimate if you're feeling like a bit of an exhibitionist, the, uh, the real juicy bits in this DLC are the new vehicle and weapon that it unlocks. Uh, the Gusenberg Sweeper machine gun will far and away become a favorite weapon for players, uh, bridging that gap between LMGs and submachine guns with its high damage firepower and drum magazine that can hold up to 50 rounds. Uh, plus, its Thompson-based design makes it aesthetically one of the most pleasing weapons to add to your armor. Similarly, while it isn't the fastest vehicle in the garage, the new Albany Roosevelt is an incredibly fun addition to the auto lineup in GTA V and online, since A, it's the closest thing you're going to get to a motorized battering ram short of stealing a tank or a bus, and B, look at it. There's no way you don't want to get behind the wheel of this classic beauty. It can hold up to six players, including the driver, making it ideal for big group jobs, and while its price point may seem a little bit steep at 750 k if you have the means, you really shouldn't miss out on picking up this ride. On that note, it's worth mentioning that unlike in the Beach Bum or the Holiday Gifts Pack from the last few months, the items in the Valentine's Day Massacre aren't free. Uh, you'll have to pay out for the Gusenberg, the Roosevelt, or any of the new clothing items you may want to buy. They're free to use and automatically added to shops in the single player mode, but if you want to use any of these items online, expect to drop a few thousand bucks at least. For more content packs, updates, and everything else on GTA 5, be sure to stay tuned right here on IGN.